Tesla superchargers are about to get a whole lot busier. I'm going to tell you all about it next. Okay, Ford and Tesla have announced this week that uh, a bombshell announcement, I mean, came out of nowhere, that Ford, beginning in 2025, is gonna start including the Tesla charging ports on all their EV cars. So the uh, Mustang Mach-E, the uh, Lightning, I think E-Transit, their uh, van, was also included in that announcement. I'll put uh, that up on the screen, scroll through the press release so you can see all the details. But so in 2025, the Tesla port that we're so accustomed to using is going to be on those cars and they're going to be able to use all of the superchargers, unlike the recent announcement where uh, people are using certain, uh, with CCS adapters built in, certain superchargers, mainly uh, on the East Coast. There's a couple up in California. I haven't looked at the map lately. So it's a little different than that announcement. This is going to have full access to the supercharger network, just like if it was a Tesla. The other portion of that announcement was in 2024, Tesla has designed an adapter to use with current Ford electric EVs. Electric EVs? I think that's the same thing. So it's gonna start happening sooner rather than later. And the interesting thing is, so Tom Malogny from Inside EVs uh, and State of Charge, his uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and uh, subscribe to that. He's, he's a genius at all things charging. Um, on a recent video, he took his Ford Lightning to one of those uh, superchargers on the East Coast with the CCS adapter built in. Um, and he barely got the truck up to the supercharger enough to yank on the cable and stretch it out enough to barely get it into the port under the current situation with the adapter and all that stuff. Uh, I think he was also offset because the charging port on the Lightning is on the front left. So he's basically icing a spot. He's stretching the cables. It, you know, it's it's a whole thing. And I think the, the, the Mach-E, the, the port's in the same place. So a couple of things came to mind. Um, is this Tesla-designed adapter does it have a little extension cord on it to accommodate for the fact that that it's not that the cables currently on superchargers are not long enough by any stretch of the imagination. So these Ford cars have to move up as close as possible. And not all superchargers are designed the same way. Sometimes the block, the, uh, the concrete block that's, that's meant to stop the cars is not exactly the same at every supercharger. So there might be some superchargers where the Fords can't make it there. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what this adapter is gonna look like uh, moving forward for 2024 on these cars. Hopefully there's a little extension cord and hopefully they'll be able to park in a proper space to where they're not taking two spaces when charging a Ford vehicle. Now this is all, you know, just one of the things that I've come up with. Uh, obviously in 2025, I would hope that Ford is going to be putting the charge port, the North American charging standard, which is the Tesla plug and port, and it's better than CCS in every way. It's lighter, it's uh, just more elegant. I mean, if have you seen a CCS uh, cable? They're just unwielding. And in the cold, forget it. They the, the cable freezes up, it's a whole thing. Anyway, I'm assuming in 2025, they're gonna put the charge port in the same place as a Tesla. So that moving forward should negate any of the problems of uh, you know, getting the cable in properly. Uh, but under the current situation with the charge ports on the Fords, the adapter is gonna need something. I'm sure they're gonna think about it and I'm sure that's why it's coming in 2024 and not immediately. 12,000 supercharger, uh, locations is uh, what uh, they're they're promising, and uh, this is a big deal. This is a seismic shift, big deal. A automaker, a legacy automaker like Ford, saying, you know what, the Tesla charging infrastructure, charge port, cabling, all that is superior. We don't even want to, you know, try to go up against that. We just want to partner with them. Um, it's kind of genius on Ford's part. On the Tesla side of things, also genius. They've got this massive supercharger network out there. It is the best. It works the best. It is the most reliable. They are starting to be everywhere. So it makes sense that these automakers 
are going to want to partner with something like that. And Tesla all along has said that they want people to start using this charging standard. So it totally makes sense on a business standpoint for Tesla to do that as well, because for the most part, obviously holiday weekends, it's a different story. Weekends in general might be a different story uh, with the influx of just Teslas out there. They're getting more crowded, but for the most part, they are kind of empty. Um, so opening those up moves the electric uh, electric vehicle adoption forward. Uh, it, it makes it a no brainer to buy a Ford now, whereas before it was, you know, who knows? You know, you don't, you, these CCS chargers, these Electrify Americas and, and all the other ones, We've seen other YouTubers testing this. Uh, Kyle from Out of Spec Motoring and Out of Spec uh, Reviews. He's well documented that the EAs and charging infrastructure on the CCS side of things uh, in the U.S. is lacking lately. You roll up on an EA, and you know half of them are not working, or they're not even the screen's broken, or they're they're deregulated down to half speed or whatever. It's um. It's definitely interesting. It's a, it's an interesting move. It's an eye-opening move. And I, I'd be very curious to see if other legacy automakers are gonna, gonna move on this, or are they too proud or too stubborn to say, you know what, another automaker's doing this properly. We wanna partner with them. Uh, I never thought I'd see the day that Ford would do this, let alone let's see if Chevy or somebody like that decides to, to hop on board. Uh, Chevy recently announcing they're dropping Apple CarPlay. So, I mean, they're not exactly willing to play nice with others at this point. But Ford, that's this is huge. This is a seismic shift. It's a massive deal, I think. Um, now, that said, I got to get over a lane here. Um, that said, what does this mean for current Tesla owners? What does that mean for, you know, We've had it nice up until this point. It's only been Tesla's allowed. Uh, obviously, they started rolling out with the uh, the magic adapter, magic, whatever that was, magic port. I forget the name of it. They had a weird name for the, the one that the CCS adapter that's built in. It's also a blow to CCS. When you got an automaker like Ford uh, coming in and saying, we're not even going to put CCS. Now, they didn't say that. I, I am assuming there won't be a CCS port on these uh, Tesla, on these uh, Fords moving forward. So the uh, the fact that that's probably gonna be the charging port, no adapters needed, no nothing, you just roll up in a Ford to a supercharger and you plug in and boom, you're, you're good to go. I'm, sure, I'm assuming you're gonna need to use the app because you know the Tesla way is you plug in and you just go, It's it, it just works. Um, so I'm assuming you're going to be able to use the app just like uh, they are right now using the CCS uh, version of this. And it's good that uh, uh, Tesla's doing this slowly. You know, they announced it here in May, June-ish. And so they got six months to kind of figure out exactly how this is all going to play out. Um, it also gives them another six months to add a tremendous amount more uh, supercharger locations. And let's be honest, they are uh, adding tons and tons of superchargers uh, on a weekly basis. I keep an eye on that with an app. You can see uh, the progression of uh, what superchargers are permitted, what superchargers are under construction, and when they finally open, and, and all this stuff. And they are rolling out fast. Now, the other caveat here is Tesla's not stopping the sales of their cars. In fact, this week also, the Tesla Model Y is the number one selling car not the number one selling electric car, the number one selling car. It's amazing. It's, I never thought I'd see the day. I've been driving electric since uh, 2014. I never thought I'd see this day. It's been a slow go for sure. And to see a electric car topping the list where Toyota owns the rest of the list has gotta be eye-opening for those at corporate Toyota that uh, decide, you know what? Hydrogen's the way to go. Uh, hybrids are the way to go. This electric stuff's just a fad. Well, they just got their butt handed to them uh, by a little automaker named Tesla. So uh, having said all that, we've got all, there's a lot to unpack here and there's a lot to think about here uh, in terms of repercussions. I mean, how is this going to affect current Tesla owners? 
you know, obviously we're waiting to supercharge at many locations, certainly uh, on holiday weekends. And, you know, it's just going to get more crowded. So hopefully that they, they are projecting that they are building enough superchargers to handle not only all the new Teslas, but now all the new Fords uh, that are going to be able to use this. That's the other thing in the announcement. I don't know if Ford owners currently have to pay for this adapter. Uh, I'm guessing they will uh, if they want access on their current models. But in 2025, going to be built in on Fords. It's a it's a massive, massive story, massive, massive seismic shift that a, a legacy automaker has decided to do this. So that said, I think I laid out all the, the details and all the facts. If not, I'll put them down in text down below. All right, so there you go. What do you think of this, guys? Uh, I'd love to have a little discussion down below and we can uh, talk about all the different facets of this uh, particular massive announcement that uh, Ford and Tesla has uh, unleashed on the world. Uh, let's get into it. Down below, down in, in the discussion area, let's talk about this. Thank you once again for uh, watching another Tesla Tips and Trips video. I totally appreciate uh, each and every one of you. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. And uh, we've got a lot of cool uh, videos coming up soon. Uh, Going to be reviewing some products, I think, here in the next uh, couple of videos. So I'll uh, look out for that. And um, I'll catch you on the next video. Ford, Tesla, together, sort of, kind of. All right. <laughs> See you on the next one.